Welcome to the Timberstone Ranch guys. In today's video I'm going to talk to you all about how much firewood we use per square foot on a particular burning season while utilizing our outdoor wood boiler. Stay tuned till the end of the video. I'm going to share with you a simple and easy to use formula that we came up by collecting our own data and doing our own firewood measurements that could help you figure out how much wood you will need to heat your home or particular space if you're considering going with an outdoor wood boiler. I often get asked the question, how much firewood is needed to heat a certain size building or home using our outdoor wood boiler? Instead of like many other videos on the internet that just show you a big pile of wood without any real measurements or real guesstimates, we went through the trouble of doing weekly measurements as we're going through each and every month of last year's burning seasons, recording the temperatures and recording our consumption so we can come up with accurate data and provide real results that could be utilized by people that are considering buying an outdoor wood boiler for their own purposes. The wood was stacked neatly, so we were able to take fairly accurate results to be utilized in the spreadsheet that I'm gonna show you later on in the video. First of all, I wanna start quickly for those new to burning firewood, how a cord of firewood is measured. This is a full bush cord of firewood. It is eight feet long, four feet tall, and four feet deep. That's 128 cubic feet of firewood. A face cord is four feet long by eight feet wide by 16 inches long. That's like a single stack of firewood. A bush cord is made up of three face cords. All right, guys. And here is the outdoor wood boiler firewood calculation spreadsheet that I mentioned earlier in the video. I will go over this quickly with you so you can hopefully use it for your own purposes and figure out how much wood you will need for your square footage. First of all, we start with the legend. Anything in green is the input that I've put in here from data that I've gathered myself or information that I already have. Anything in orange is an output that is calculated with formulas. They're very simple. They're simple addition formulas. And anything in pink is the factors that you can use once I'm done explaining how this works to determine how much wood you will need per square foot of heating space. A few variables we got to go over. 100% score on insulation as our home is built to current building codes and that allows for 100% efficiency. 95% for a heat exchanger. The reason for this is the ideal place for the heat exchanger is to be installed within the main furnace shaft, but because we did not have room there due to the air conditioner coil, we had to install it in the cold air return. The dealer told me we would lose about 5% efficiency due to this. We have 100% efficiency for water versus glycol. The water has better retention value. However, glycol has different advantages that I'm gonna cover in a separate video. I have allowed 100% efficiency for our pipe depth as it is installed below frost depth. Even though these pipes are insulated, sometimes people install them within the frost depth and there's a lot of heat that is lost in that path between the wood boiler and the home. And lastly, we have 100% efficiency allowed for the gasification unit. If you have a conventional unit, you can expect to burn almost twice as much wood as a gasifier unit. We do use premium wood that's seasoned between 15 to 20% in moisture. So that also has to be taken into consideration. So a total efficiency, once you accumulate all those four and you average it, is a 99% efficiency. I've weighted them all equally. Next, I've shown three buildings here, but we're only going to go over one building, which is our current home. We have our basement at 1,300 square feet, first floor 1,400, second floor 1,300 for a total of 4,000 square feet. Please do not forget to include your basement in your square footage if you have one, as this is a space that you will also be heating. And finally, for the firewood input. As I mentioned earlier in the video, 
we measured the firewood very carefully week by week through the burning season and these are the results that I've shown in the spreadsheet by the face cord, cords or cubic feet. We did measure by the face cords so I'll go over these with you quickly. In November we burned about one, December two, January was a cold month at four and a half, February three, March two and April one. The average temperature in our area in central Ontario for the month of November was minus one, December minus three, January minus 16.6, February minus 11.9, March minus 4.5, and April plus 2.9. I've also done a conversion here for our American friends. November 30.2 degrees, December 22.5, January 2.2, February 10.6, March 23.9, and April 26.8. So as I mentioned earlier, we are here in central Ontario, which have a similar climate to Michigan or Wisconsin. Most places south of us would see less cold, therefore you'd have less consumption of firewood. The only places that would be colder would realistically be only Montana or Alaska, as well as northern Canadian provinces. So our total firewood consumption for our 4,000 square foot home, including the basement, was 4.48 bush cords, 13.4 face cords, and 573 cubic feet. In order to derive this factor here that could be used by anybody, essentially I just did the bush cords divided by the square footage. These are the factors that you can use to multiply by the square footage of your home to determine how much firewood you will be using per square foot. So the 0 0.01 is a factor that will give you the bush cords. When you multiply 0 0.01 by your square footage, you will get how many bush cords you need for an entire burning season. 0 0.03 is the face cords. You will multiply this with the square footage of your home and they'll give you how many total face cords you need. And lastly, 0 0.143 times the square footage of your home will give you how many cubic feet of firewood you will need for that particular burning season. A quick example I'm going to show you guys here is for a 1500 square foot home where we've applied a 20% factor increase just because the furnace has to use wood for operation purposes so it's not a direct comparison where you have a 3,000 square foot home at a 1,500 square foot home you would use half of what the 3,000 square foot home uses that is not the case so at a 1,500 square foot home we're looking at 2.2 bush cords 6.5 face cords and 258 cubic feet for a 2,000 square foot home, we're looking at 2.69 bush cords, 8 face cords, and 344 cubic feet. And for a 2,500 square foot home, we're looking at 3.36 bush cords, 10 face cords, and 430 cubic feet. Again, this is based on premium fuel and using a gasifier unit. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.